Welcome back to The Rudder, my name's Brooke and as you can see, we are here at home on our canal with our Mary Fisher 895. Antoinette is clean skin, so she's not anti fouled She's getting a little bit of a yellow around the waterline. So what we're thinking of doing is pulling her up onto the beach just here and cleaning her and giving her port side a bit of a polish. As you can see, Antoinette is currently in the fab dock and we can't clean the water line while she's in the fab dock. The tide is really high at the moment. So the plan is to bring Antoinette up onto the beach here and clean the hull. So Damien is super nervous about doing this process. Tonight's high tide is pretty low compared to the current high tide. As you can see, the water's way up here. We're gonna pull the bow of Antoinette into here. Fingers crossed we can clean the hull successfully and push her back in later today. So I hope you enjoy the journey and um, fingers crossed it all goes well. I'm just gonna come down here to Damien and see what he's thinking the plan is. Um, and uh, I think we're making this up as we go a little bit. So Damien, what's the plan? We're probably gonna try and beach the boat up over on this side of our pontoon, the sand is on a shallower angle. Um, the tide is running out that way. So I was just looking at, we might have to borrow that jetty over there to tie the stern up. But we'll be gentle. Um, we'll take it slow if it, and uh, we'll just see how we go. And as I said, I don't think we have to rush because this tide is the highest around for a few days. So if, um, if we get too keen and get it right up there, we're not gonna get off. You can see Antoinette's currently in the fab dock and I'm not sure if you can see but there's a little bit of yellowing on the waterline and we're really hoping to get that off. I'll take it down the oh you can see a little bit more here. So you can see that yellowing. Underneath. The last couple of days we've done some planning. You can see the stick over here. We were hoping to put Antoinette on this side of the pontoon but this beach is a lot steeper than the beach on the other side so we're thinking we might um, jump on the other side okay so let's get this show on the road um, I'm in the cockpit there just waiting to get Antoinette out of the fab dock and um, on the beach so we, you can see the just while we're waiting here, you can see the water moving across the screen from the right side to the left side so that's the flow we've got from the tide it's not dramatic or anything and there is a little bit of wind barely anything can see the flags flapping around there so it's a fairly good day to do this so Brooke's going to put in the muscles and push Antoinette out of the fab dock and uh, we'll be aiming for the beach in a second just a little bit further and away we go so I just head down the canal a little bit spin it round and we'll bring it back up so here we come into the beach and as you'd guess, the real trick to this is gently, gently. So just coming in at a nice angle uh, with only one click of throttle, just nice and slowly. And I'm up higher than where Brooke is, so I'm just waiting for that, that tidal flow to bring me down a little bit. And we'll see where we go. See, so yeah, I'm a bit higher than I wanted to be on purpose and just gonna float down a little bit, move the Antoinette sideways with the uh, bow thruster and the, and the engines there, which is about to happen somewhere around now. So we're just going to bring it, creep it on sideways, keeping in mind that fab dock is an inflatable. So yeah, there we go, you can see the bow thruster moving there and Antoinette creeping sideways. Now we get a little bit mixed up here. I have a slight thought that maybe we can put the boat on sideways on the beach because it feels quite shallow so I'm sort of just having a look at that here and um, there's some discussions happening between Brooke and myself about this and yeah so you can see it coming into the side here and it's really not a great idea uh, we really need to be in bow first 
uh, the engines you can see pushing up a bit of sand there so this was not a great idea um, we're going to get out of here in a second and, and bring it in on the nose as we first talked about but you know just the one thing to take note of is that everything is nice and patient there's no big throttle movements just got to tilt the engines up to get them out of the out of the sand there once again Brooke using some muscle pushing the stern of Antoinette out and now we just have to be really careful because we are quite close to the the pontoon and the fab dock which as I mentioned is an inflatable so don't want that anywhere near the props so it drops off quite a lot there heaps of water for the engines to maneuver in so I'm just going to back it up a touch swing the bow around a bit and line it up again moving very gently in this tight space lots of uh, guidance from Brooke as well and there we go just got the right angle turn it in give it a little bit of throttle now to, to get it up on the beach and there we go we are beached the bow and we're going to throw some ropes to the side and drop the anchor on the beach and um, we have a beached Antoinette so we've uh We've managed to beach the boat, the tide's heading out that way um, and you can see the yellow stains along the bottom so as the tide comes out we'll get more access to that to uh, do some cleaning and I'm also probably going to get the polisher out and give it a, a bit of wax and a bit of love um, so yeah. So so far so good, fingers crossed for the rest of the day. Just before we start the cleaning process I thought I'd give you a quick tour of a before and after shot so I'll spin the camera around take you for a tour and show you all the yellow and then um, hopefully this afternoon I can show you a shiny boat all right let's have a look Unfortunately the port side of Antoinette gets a little bit neglected because of the way she sits in the fab dock so while we're up on the beach today we're going to give this side some uh, TLC give her a bit of a polish and yeah, you can see the yellowing here so this is what all the stuff we're hoping to get off which will be quite easy once we're um, high and dry so that's the before product let's get cleaning we are one hour into the cleaning process and I thought I'd do a bit of a check-in. So we've been progressively um, moving the anchor back a bit because as I mentioned earlier, the tide this afternoon is a lot, sorry, the high tide this afternoon is a lot lower than the high tide was this morning. So we don't want to get caught up on the beach overnight. You can see here the yellow um, off the hull is now gone, which is great because the, we've been able to get Antoinette up and out of the water. Just coming around to the other side now you can see Damien's uh, we've rigged up the power cable so it's nice and safe and Damien's on the case of uh, polishing the waxing. sorry waxing Just putting a layer of wax on and underneath here the gel coat doesn't get too much exposure so it's really quite good but you can see just where I've given it that extra wax it's um quite shiny and nice so we're just going to do close to the waterline while we're like this and then um, yeah we'll, we'll see what happens then with uh, the tide but yeah it's coming up good and um, everything can, seems to be holding you can, you can uh, see that we've actually tied off to this jetty over here because although the winds are quite light today the winds are coming from that direction so we didn't want Antoinette to get blown across back onto our pontoon so all's going well I have to jump out onto the sup now and just do the waterline unfortunately you can see um, the very stern of Antoinette is actually dug deep into the water obviously because we've got the bow up on the beach so we're having we can't get to the yellowing at the back at the moment but we have a lovely neighbor that's just come up 
who lives just a few houses across and he has um, offered us to use his pontoon so we can polish the uh, rest of the port side. So we'll see, not sure if we're gonna take up that offer, but we're very grateful for his offer. And um, we'll keep uh, going with the waxing of Antoinette and we'll check in soon. As I mentioned, our lovely neighbor has offered to lend us his pontoon for a few hours. It wasn't a minute too soon because we just tried to uh, get off the beach just here and Damien had to put quite a bit of um, muscle power into the engines to reverse. Yeah, so the, as we said, the canal really steeps off. So the engines were in heaps of water, but we did need to give it a little bit just to get off the beach, but uh, pretty much worked, worked well. So. All the bow, which you can't get to while it's on a pontoon, is all uh, freshly waxed. So we're gonna do the side that is often away from our pontoon, because it, it doesn't get as much love as it as the other side. So it's good to get that one done, and um, yeah, we'll probably flip it around and give the whole hull a wax, and then we'll do the roof and, and top side another day. So that's definitely given us con confidence to in future just pull those up onto our beach. We're very fortunate that we do have a sandy beach because a lot of the canals around here don't have sandy beaches, some of them are rock beaches. So we're pretty fortunate in that sense that we don't have to lift the whole boat out to do some do some well, work I, on it. I guess the next uh, trial would be to come in stern first to get the stern out of the water but then you've got no engines to get it off so we'll have to really uh, manage the tides that day but it's good it's worked well one more thing just before we go I've just come down to the beach to, to check out how the beach looks and I'll just flip the camera around so the beach looks fine just a lot of footprints but you will notice there's our I don't know if you can see that there's a bit of a divot here where our, um, our bow kicked in but Tide or two, that'll disappear. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got any questions or comments, um, hopefully comments. be kind <laughs> about the process that we did, but let us know if you guys have done this sort of thing before. Thanks so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and see you next time on the rudder.